I think in terms of um, web accessibility, it's good for business to understand the business case around making their, their website more accessibility and also to provide with some simple, easy tools to achieve that outcome. Accessible web design saves money. It saves the cost of creating websites because it makes them much easier to update, much easier to navigate. It saves in help and uh, support because it's less confusing. There is a myth that um, there are not very many individuals who require web accessibility. There is a myth that web accessibility is not good for aesthetics or that it means that it's a boring, um, unesthetic website. There are um, myths that it costs too much. Um, those are all completely erroneous and in fact the opposite is the case. You can have a website that is, uh, that is accessible and one that is inaccessible and they can look exactly the same. In this day and age, marketing and disseminating information is done online and through accessible and attractive and responsive web pages, websites. If we do not make these sites accessible in every way, whether that means for people with disabilities or whether that means for, quite frankly, a very sophisticated population that is not willing to uh, spend a lot of time trying to figure out a poor website, then we will be left behind. Uh, we will lose business, whether you're public or private sector. When it comes to accessibility, there, there's, there's a number of reasons why organizations would want to, to make their their, their organizations more accessible. You know, there's 15%, uh, you know, one in seven Ontarians, you know, ha have a disability. Uh, so if you have a, a more accessible, whether it's a website or more an accessible approach to, to customer service in, in, in your organization, you're just going to reach more people. You're going to reach more customers. And, you know, when you factor in friends and family of persons with disabilities, you know, that comes up to almost over 50% of the population. So there is a business case there uh, for businesses that are trying to reach a broader audience and a broader customer base to make their businesses and organizations more accessible. If an organization is trying to build a, an environment of inclusivity and accessibility, it can't be done as an afterthought. It has to be built in to the daily work processes at the organization. That's really what it comes down to. So, you know, it, it comes down to, to helping organizations through a really efficient and effective way understand how to make their websites more accessible and how they can do that at either a low cost or no cost way and in a very effective way because the last thing a small business uh, needs to do is not be able to go to one place get the information they need and get the adjustments made quickly and effectively.